I, you know, I don't want to get into this, but there, there, there are a few DJs, uh, Dylan, that you told me that you have beef with. Um, oh, David, don't. Uh, don't bring this up? No. David, get a. Um, a different game? David, get a. Um, get one of the. David, get a. Go ahead. The. Um, <laughs> Yes. What? David Guetta. Uh, David Guetta. Uh, oh. David Guetta. <laughs> David Guetta. Uh, do you guys actually have beef with him? Because then I don't want to put it in. I mean, no, I don't. I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan had the weirdest beef with him that he didn't understand. David, he, oh, you did have beef with no, him. No, but Dylan targeted him for some weird reason, and what the guy was like, so co- targeted. But he was so confused by Dylan like making fun of him. He was okay. like, Look what, this We what had this whole joke planned for David Guetta because it was perfect, and then I didn't know you actually had fucking yeah, beef, yeah, with yeah, him. beef with him. <laughs> yeah, so you had beef with a lot of people? No, 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 not that many. I think just David Guetta. <laughs> it, was a weird, it, was weird. it was the best. It was the best beef ever. So David Guetta posted this video. I hope you can find it. It's David Guetta standing in the Shibuya crossing, just looking at the camera for 45 seconds. And during this time, this was when Black Beatles like mannequin challenge was oh, yeah. happening. So I took the video and I put Black Beatles to it and I wrote this huge Instagram post where I was like, I don't know what the fuck David Guetta is doing standing in Shibuya Cross staring at a camera without Black Beatles playing. I, it must be that he forgot to put the song on or he grabbed the wrong MP4 oh, file. So it wasn't even bad. No, it was just me. You were helping him out. I, so, yeah, and then but then he went in and... <laughs> He just like went immediately to money and like views and was like, hey man, well, I have 600K views on my video and you only have this amount. <laughs> and then I went and was like, well, actually, you have like 6.4 million followers. I have one point something at this time. And if I have 200K and you have 600K, I actually have more views than you. My engagement is better. <laughs> yeah, my engagement. <laughs> so you have actual social media beef with David Guetta. Yes. Oh, fuck. Well, my bad. I didn't mean to bring that <laughs> Do up. Do most DJs take themselves seriously? You guys are fun. but I think David Guetta did not understand what I was doing right. at all. I did shake his hand one t- like afterwards. Uh-huh. He, did, he was not. He said, well, it's actually the best quote that he said to me. He goes, next time you're going to make fun of me, Text me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's good policy. <laughs> so good. Pretty good policy. All right, David, I'm posting something that's really going to make fun of you today. Cool. Uh, yes, very cool, Dylan. <laughs> I mean, most of the DJs take themselves way too seriously. Way too seriously. Like, it's kind of like we're, we're, we're like lucky to be up there and like have fun DJing yeah. in the travel but, world. So I'm like, why are you guys, why are you guys so like, so like crazy with it? But um, most of them are like fun, like Tso. Yeah, the, uh, Tso is one of the best. I have some weird beefs with people, but honestly, like I, the, if you st- if you're in this game that long and you know all the DJs, you you all become friends. Right. You know who's like they're all like for me they're like different like Mortal Kombat characters. <laughs> like they're all like special. Like this guy's from Holland and he does like this. Yes, guys like Korean. It's like just like kind of like it's like WWE at this point. I love them all. Remember when we went to Vegas with Dylan? Oh yeah, I remember. That was fucking really cool. Yeah, it was the best. But but, but he, he was on the fourth floor, bro. I thought he was on Penthouse Suite. I will never forget this. Oh yeah. Where well, do you stay when you stay at a hotel? Top level or bottom floor? I mean, I, they kind of give me whatever room. On that, the, the, oh. the suite. Every, every, I, I, dude, I thought, like, when Dylan first invited me, I was like, this is going to be fucking insane. And it's literally, it was just me and him hanging out in his hotel room. And I still had to ask for permission to eat the cashews. Like, it was like, there, there was nothing about it that was like. Well, this, first like, of all, he flew Southwest. We did fly we Southwest. Did, we which, did, we and, did. and I was which like. Which was nice. Which, we, like, we fly Southwest, which is great. And then Dylan was with us. Like, oh, Dylan must just be, like, chilling with us. I like, thought he was doing that for us. I initially. thought he was doing it for us, too. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, no, I always fly Southwest. <laughs> no, we're, we're, just, we're just cheap. <laughs> Dude, it's the best flights. At the end of the day, we're like, you know, the Southwest flight, it goes from, what, Burbank straight to Vegas? Yeah. It's always on time. If you get and a jet it from. Is, it, it is The great. jets always on time. aren't on time. And oh. also, a lot of the times, there's nobody in those. Yeah. Right, yeah. so, so it is, you, it's kind of like look you at have this. a private airline if for like you, if $5. We, if, we can, if we can choose to like go on Southwest for like 150 bucks or pay $15,000 for a round trip, which is probably longer, Right. that's like my kids like, you know, a year of college. Like what, what's yeah. the point of like going on a jet if you don't have to? I didn't know I was going to hear all this financial stuff from you. It's like, I mean, <laughs> I'm feeling a lot more responsible. I should have been calling you about my, my stock yeah, portfolio. Yeah, before AMC, you should have hit me up. <laughs> I, I, I could have hooked you up. True, no, true. no, but then, okay, the flight was one thing. But then, but then when we got to the hotel... Like I, nice I, room. Nice room. Very yeah, nice room. Great but I rem- chicken tenders. I remember we got in the elevator and I saw all the buttons. I saw 50 floors oh, and yeah. I was like, we're fucking going all the way up. <laughs> we deserve this. Like, I vlogged hard. Let's do this, bitch. And, and then he hits four. And I thought, I, thought, I thought maybe he was getting his tour manager to be like, we're here. Come on up. But no, we went in and that was his room. And it was cool. It was like a suite. A nice um, room. But it was like, you know. 
It was just it was it was a room. It was not the Dylan Francis at the Encore yeah. DJing here once a week residency. Yeah. Like I literally thought it was gonna be bottle service when you walk in. But you made a good point why you choose the fourth floor. It's it's the closest to being able to get downstairs. <laughs> it's fucking it's like sensible DJ. It yeah. makes sense. Because when you're on like the fiftieth floor of those things, you're fucking stopping at every floor. And those elevators take so long when it's like prime time hours. Sensible DJ. And you wanna is... you wanna be away from people in the elevator as much as possible. Because yeah. right. you don't know they're gonna be like, Wait, is that Dylan Francis? And then you're like yeah. 40 floors with this guy, like, and then they'll follow you to your room. <laughs> yeah, I've like, people knocking on my room, be like, "Yo, we know you're in there. Come party with us across the way." <laughs> you're like, Get no, low. please. 